Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Arkansas Gun Guy, where today I have a very cool and also very shiny gun to share with you guys, the Zastafa M57 in chrome. Uh, now, this is a Yugoslavian version of the Tokarev TT33. And the reason this is, I think, kind of cool because it is, this is uh, not really a common uh, finish on these guns. If you don't know about the Tokarev TT33, it was created in Russia in 1933, and it came in your choice of three colors, black, uh, black, or black. But along the way, I guess they had a few versions made in this chrome finish. And as I understand it, that was mostly probably ceremonial type events, parades, official events, or potentially officer guns. I thought this was a very cool looking gun and I want to share with you guys. Uh, so I'll flip the camera around and compare this Yugoslavian uh, chrome plated um, M57 to standard black one as well. We'll take a really close look at the uh, chrome one because it's easier to see and better looking. So I'll flip the camera around. Uh, before I do, hey, if you would, please like and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me so much with all the YouTube, al YouTube algorithms. It's really hard to talk uh, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. But here, I'll flip the camera around. Okay, here's the close-up of the Zastafa M57 in chrome. I actually have two other guns on the table just to make a point and for reference. Uh, this is another Zastafa M57 in the standard black. Uh, these are both Yugoslavian models. And this is a Romanian uh, Zastafa. Or, I'm sorry, Romanian uh, TT33. Um, and this actually was from 1956. has a date stamp on there. These two don't have date stamps. Um, but the big difference I want to point out in the Romanian versus the uh, Yugoslavian is the fact that it has, they have different safeties installed. The original guns did not have safeties installed, uh, but U.S. import laws required them. So the Yugoslavian versions came over with these frame mounted safeties that I think are actually pretty good. Uh, this Romanian version here has a safety up near the trigger, and I'll tell you, I don't have good experience with this gun. It doesn't shoot all that well, and this safety is a real pain in the bottom. Uh, it activates after every other shot. You can't always pull the trigger. So again, not loving the safety here. It doesn't look great. Also doesn't function very well. Whereas these Yugoslavian models, it looks like it actually belongs there. It wasn't built that way, but it came that way. And it actually, I think, works pretty well. So again, these are both Yugoslavian M57s. The Tokarev TT33 was made in 1933 in Russia. Over the years, the Soviet Union, it was made in various countries. It's still made, it was made in China as well. But the Yugoslavians, uh, Zastafa started making them in 1957, thus M57. Uh, again, most all the ones you see are black, uh, and, but this one is obviously the chrome model. Um, they're essentially the same gun, clean lines up here in the front, same slide catch, slide release, um, same mag release. Again, they both have the safety here. They both have standard blah iron sights, par for the time, I guess. They're actually good. Um, they both have the unique anti-glare anti -glare feature uh, from the ejection port forward here and here. Nice touch for an older gun. Uh, really the only difference in these two guns, I'm not sure if it's just an age model difference, is the black one has the lanyard loop installed on the weapon itself, whereas the, um, the shiny one has it on the magazine. So just a few differences of the different Tokarevs or the different Zastafas. Uh, I'll do a quick safety check for you guys. So again, mag releases here, pops out. These guys hold eight rounds, still mag. Uh, and weapon is empty. Uh, now you will see as I have the magazine out, can't pull the trigger. So you have the safety in there, pop the magazine back in and you have a actually pretty nice trigger pull. I don't have a, a gauge, but the trigger pull is actually quite nice. Again, I think there's a, these are good looking guns, very clean up front. You have the serrations in the back, uh, very sleek looking. Again, the safety works very well. Uh, they are single action only. Nothing happens if you pull the trigger, unless you cock it. Um, and then you have one shot, single action. Uh, one feature I do find unique about these guns is there's a half cock position. If you put this gun in a half cock position like that, it's safe. You can't pull the trigger at all. Like it does not budge. Uh, and you also can't rack the slide. So if you want to carry the gun super safe mode, half cocked position. Then you're ready to fire all the way back and there you go. So uh, pretty nice feature on there. Um, 
Again, this side has your slide catch side release and your safety and your mag release. The other side only has this little pin here, and this is your takedown lever. Uh, and you can see some scratches back here from all the takedowns, but you can try to pull this back with your finger, or the easiest thing to do is take the magazine, take the lip on there, right here, loop it in right there, and just pull backwards. I'm not gonna disassemble the gun on camera because YouTube will get mad at me, but uh, that's how you take one down. Now, one more really cool feature about this gun uh, is the fact that some of these ceremonial pieces came with black grips and some came with light gray grips. But the joy of buying, you know, um, surplus guns is you get unique things. This one has black on this side and light gray on this side. So super unique, uh, one of a kind, except for the <coughs> mate that has black on this side and gray on this side, I suppose. So anyway, there is a very cool look, close-up look at the Zestafa M57 in Chrome. A very cool gun. Thanks so much for watching.